Hey guys, welcome back to a... I know you can't see my dude, but I'm doing it. You see it in the background. <laughs> welcome back. We are here on... Not Farside. Why am I thinking Farside? We're here playing RuneScape today, of course. Um, and it's installment number two of uh, of uh, that, that one thing. I got 99 Slayer, but... A... No, that's not right. Mm -mm. No, I got 99 skills, but this ain't one. Yeah! Okay. Anyways, we are doing Slayer again today. I got the, uh, I got Black Dragons as a Slayer task. Um, and there's one thing I wanted to, I was, I was going to kind of show you guys how I went about doing this. So, the way I do QBD is, um, I do have good gear. As you guys can see, I got Torva now. Um, a friend of mine g gave me Torva, uh, so I owe him 140 mil, 120 mil, something, I think it was 140-ish. Uh, there's a tour of a helmet, so that's a, that's a higher level gear. It's one of the better, uh, melee offensive gears there is. So let's go ahead and I, so I take a pack yak and I take, uh, sharks just cause sharks are, um, cheaper than rock tails and I really don't need rock tails here. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and turn up the sound, shall we? Let's go, uh, audio settings. You can turn music up a little bit, turn this up a little bit, turn that up a little bit. I don't know what these noises are going to be like, so I usually don't play with noises. So then we just, we fill up the, ooh, nice. We fill up the pack yak with sharks so that we have it. And then all I do is I just make it really simple because it's really easy to get there and get back. So I just take one of each of these. I take the prayer just in case if I need it, um, super anti-fire. And then I take house tabs. Now I, I do house tabs because I feel like it's a lot more beneficial to use a house tab and go and recharge prayer at my house than to eat uh, prayer potions, drink prayer potions. So let's, what am I looking for? Food. So let's fill this thing up. There we go. And then we just organize our inventory like so. And we'll break the house tab and we'll get going. Now I use, uh, I usually don't play with music and sounds and stuff. Um, but I use the Penance Aura, Aura at this point, just because, uh, it, hmm, music, hmm, maybe turn down a little bit, I don't know, I, like I said, I usually don't play with this, we'll play it with it on, why not, right? Um, so I, I've been, uh, using Penance because it heals, no, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, because it heals, gives you 5% of prayer points, 5, let's just read it. It, you gain prayer points equal to 5% of the damage you receive. And since QBD, you receive a good amount of damage, it really helps so that you don't use, like, absolutely any prayer. Your prayer constantly keeps up with you. Um, so yeah. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, and then I, like I said, I have full Torva to do this. And Slayer, I'm using Slayer Helm, uh, because... I, it's a Slayer task right now, and I have 46 more to go, so let's do this. So just go into the portal, we do our little thing, and here we go. I've never heard this music in here, so you guys are you guys are hearing this for the first time with me. Let's see this. Let's see how this goes. I hope it's not too loud. Okay, so we got to drink our overload, drink our prayer renewal, super anti-fire. There we go. Put on our prayers. There we go. And attack it. So now I... I always do defensive uh, right away just to get it. Now, the reason why I use the uh, super anti-fire is so that I obviously can dual wield um, weapons instead of using uh, instead of using the anti-fire shield because uh, then you can only have one weapon if you use the anti-fire shield. So let's go. Here we go. Let's go back and get this guy. Now, this is a boss that came out a little while ago. For those of you that don't know, it's it's fairly new um, in respect to, of the overall game. Uh, it's one of the newer uh, bosses, but it's it's fairly easy. It's a solo bull. You can solo it, so it's it's definitely not near one of the toughest in the game because they do have ones that you definitely can't solo that are harder, but their drops are obviously worth more than. Oh, tortured soul! Yeah, come after me! Come after me! See those those guys? Those things throw out that little thing, which usually I'll tank it, but, uh, not, 
not obviously when I'm trying to go get those things. So the whole thing behind the QBD is you have to activate this guy, this thing right here, all these stones. And you just, you watch the health up at top and every time, uh, okay, so, so then you want to try to uh, try to dodge that as much as I can. Uh, so we then we got the wall of flames. We got to be on top of that. We use I use this ability when the tortured souls are up because it's an AOE attack, and so then I don't have to actually go to those guys. But watch watch the top bar. It has four different phases. So at every phase, then I'll have to. Uh, okay, I didn't activate my penance aura. Activate your aura. You want to do that before the ground starts because you can see my prayers dropping. Oh, you summon more tortured souls. You can see my prayers dropping, but it's ganging back now. Slowly but surely. Ow. 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 You're hurting me. Stop it. Did I not? No, I activated it. Okay. So here we go. So we're back to fighting this guy. So then I activated three of the four so far, and you guys just gotta activate all four. So then we'll just uh, use our abilities here and get this guy dead. And that's the, that's pretty much that. Um, for those of you that don't play this game, just give you a, ooh, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die. Those are painful. Uh, just give you a little heads up on, uh, see if you get this, they'll all die, which is what we want. Okay, perfect. Yep. Oh, the torture, yeah, they die too. Um, so for those of you that don't know what these, all these po- So that's, that, that, well, let me say, that's the boss. <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know, then we hit S right here, and it heals us by using the rest of our adrenaline bar. Uh, we can usually get two kills. Uh, gosh, I haven't got any good drops. Uh, but we usually get two kills per overload. But what the overload does, for those of you that don't know this game, this overload is a potion that boosts your, your skill stats. So over here on the right side, we have our attack, strength. Our attack is how accurate you hit. Your strength is how hard you hit. Your defense is how high defense you have so you can wear better gear and stuff. And it just boosts all those. The highest level in game is 99 to get to those. And the overloads are the strongest potion for those. Um, and so it boosts it to 116 for five minutes. Uh, so that's what that potion does. So then, uh, usually if I was, um, if I didn't have my penance aura, that was quite a bit of sharks too for that run. If I didn't have a penance aura, right now I'd go and teleport to my house and recharge my prayer. But since I have the penance aura, we're going to go back and do another one. So let's just do another one. Maybe we can get a little bit more interesting of a fight. That wasn't too bad. I was trying to talk a lot and explain stuff as I was going. So, uh, so yeah, now we're back. Uh, so let me explain this real quick before uh, he comes alive or she comes alive. So like I said, you kill this, you kill it with the top bar. Once that's down, each one of these will activate. And once you get all four of those activated, then that's the time when the kill is completed. Um, so that's what we're trying to go for here. You just, oops, I need to turn on my prayers. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, I have Turmoil. Turmoil is the prayer that will boost your attack, strength, and defense uh, to be a little bit stronger, just like the Overload does, but it doesn't doesn't physically show it on the skills uh, skill levels. It's just kind of a inherited thing where it ha you know it happens sort of like. Um, did I not drink? I did. Okay. Um, and the soul split is gives me health back based on the amount of damage I give. So that's what that one does. Uh, and so those are why I use those two prayers. Is the soul split helps to keep my uh, health up a little bit higher, so I don't have to eat as much food. While the um, while the Turmoil obviously is what it is, right? It just helps me kill it faster, and that's a big thing. And I hate I hate these walls of flame because they, I you know, I it's it's inefficient to dodge them, but you, <laughs> but they do so much dang damage. Doo -doo -doo. So now we gotta go back and get the artifact. There we go. Go back and kill him. It's not too bad of a run. It's actually, we're doing pretty good. See, and then we got these abilities that we do down here. Perfect. Boom. Do a hard hit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So now this is... On this stage, you gotta go kill this guy over here. The guy that's over here talking. Because if, if you don't kill him in time, uh, what ends up happening then is... 
he'll like freeze you and then it it can be really really bad like he can do a lot of damage it can do a lot of damage between between you being froze because then you can't eat or anything and then if you get like these walls of fire not being able to eat or anything of that sort you uh you're pretty much sol so you always want to make sure that you go and kill that guy uh whenever he comes up whenever those tormented souls come up you want to make sure you kill them so yeah let's see if we get anything good at this drop uh last time wasn't too fancy this time hopefully something a little bit better uh s just to get that extra little health yep yeah, there we go come on uh, that's not too bad but they have they you know they have drops for this this guy uh for this boss that i just haven't been able to get at all i've done so many of these and i still can't get one of these things but uh but anyway guys that's gonna go ahead and do it uh so this is another installment of 99 Slayer. Or I got 99 skills, but this ain't one. Uh, I got 75 Slayers, I think, since the last episode, which is good. Now I can do Curdell's Dungeon, which is the highest level dungeon you can do in the game for a Slayer. So, uh, yeah, we're going to keep doing this. Uh, oh, I got 21 mil cash stack. I probably got about 2 or 3 mil worth of drops to add to that now. Uh, so, yeah, that is slowly making its way up. Um, so, yeah, like always, guys. I thank you guys for watching. My name's Cluster. Dream. I can't. I can't crouch in this game. You know. What could I do? Uh, uh, I don't even know what I could do because I can't crouch. Um, let's do an emote. What emote should we do? Should we do like? Uh, is there is there like a crouch? No crouch. Nope. Mm -mm. Bow. Um, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Which one do you guys think? You guys say one. Uh. You know, if you see something here that, that you're thinking, oh, yeah, that one, if you can even see them. I don't know if you can see them. Anyways, guys, <laughs> my name's Cluster. Dream big.